Hello. What's up, man? Can you hear me? Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on? Fine. <laughs> in the lounge area. Yeah. That third failure in a row. Now that's a chord. Did you think? <laughs> there you go, sir. What's up? Why not? Hey. Oh, gosh, man. Hey. It was funny. I was like talking to her. I didn't, I didn't realize I was on mute. <laughs> 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 Literally my mute button didn't hear me. I can hear you typing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. So how's everybody? How are you doing, my kid? Shit, I'm good, man. I've just been, man, this last couple of months have been crazy with work, but I'm all wrapped up now, so back on the adventure for me. I've been uh, working on, I don't know if you've heard of a, a work adventure. Have you heard of that? No, what's that? Uh, let, me, let me, I'll drop a link here. Yeah. So it's like it's kind of like hubs, right? Where we have here, only it's only it's in a, like 2D instead of 3D. It's not a virtual place. It's like a 2D game kind of setup. Yeah. And uh, like you can go around the the map and stuff, and like collect items and things, and you can set up scripts inside the game to like. Oh, okay go through these items so like we could have actual games that like link up to bounties and stuff like that with it which is pretty interesting like i just started playing with it not long ago because i've been busy with work like i wanted to start it a while ago but i, I got too busy for it and then uh yeah there was this oh uh, damn i forgot what it was called but okay so um one of my friends that i made over at the uh, tech Dow, uh, she's like part of this other group. Anyways, they had like this like virtual conference. Uh, it was in like a 2D space that you like walk around. Like, a permanent space that like you could build upon and like you can have like your own like little thing and then you can store documents and they, and they're like stored as like little items in the game, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's what this is. Uh, and it's all like, yeah. yeah, it's all like open source and everything. So it looks pretty cool. The only thing that I, I have trouble with is it doesn't work on mobile. So like the little space like if you try to access it on a mobile phone it'll just get like this jumbled up screen <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's like the only big issue with it but other than that it looks pretty fun like um you can explore it around and like go like uh the whatever the demo one is that you can try out like you can go into see the little different rooms and play games and then like one of the uh, rooms has like a jitsi meet and then the other room has like a map where you can build like different rooms and then there's like a pool table that you can play and stuff it's pretty interesting you know what i was missing i've been uh, i have like all sorts of different ones that i've been messing around with but today i found a, like a new one uh, so they're like all these like um weird little apps that are like doing um like fucking uh, like weird geometry and then like showing it as like shapes and then like you could change the parameters and then it gets you like a different image. Um, there's this one that like simulates like the growth of like networks of like this like bacteria mm. or, this, or this or this algae I think. Right. I don't know. There's like all, there's all sorts of different ones like that. Like all of these like patterns or whatever are like simulations of like. Uh, either biology or like you know like quantum physics or some shit like that right um yeah the, the one that i was playing with it was like um fuck i forgot what they called it but it was it was like um these circles and each one had its own um mandibra uh set so they got all like practical right so there's like there's like I, I think the one, the original one, like, starts off as four. So there's four of them, and they're, like, represented as different colors, you know, like, like the primary colors, red, uh, green, blue, and uh, whatever. Anyways, uh, and then and then when you change the parameters, they mix. But since it's, like, all these, like, fractals, and they're moving in, like, uh, theoretically, and, like, in different planes, like, they, they, they collide with each other, and they make, like, new weird shapes. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Nice. Yeah. 
That that one that one was a crazy one. I was playing with that one. But like all this stuff is um. Uh, what is this? It's like GPU or whatever, and it's like some like library database with like all this like uh, science data that like you could use. Um, but yeah, that, and there's like a bunch of them. I should give you the link to that. Like, now, like, plug that in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Because <laughs> yeah. all that is like they give the code too. Like you know, you play with it within the little um, like get get um, lab thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they, they give you all the code for it so you can like do different things with it uh, potentially. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah definitely. Well, uh, did you see uh, the whole what's going on with Joy Stream? Have you been keeping up with that? <laughs> well, yeah. Um, um, yeah, it's like, what is it? I don't even know what it's called. Oh, uh, Jesus, G- 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 I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know. Joystream is a better name. Yeah. Uh, this one's, uh, it's confusing. It looks exactly the same. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, but, that... I, but, I have, but I haven't I haven't uploaded anything. Have you uploaded anything? No, I haven't even like uh, made an account on there yet because like I've been looking... It's not that one isn't run by the uh, the Atlas people. That's like a community node. Oh. Yeah, it's like a little community node for somebody. So like, what they're doing now is like, and uh, I guess they're still planning on at some point going back to like do their own host where it's like their own, you know, their own like play or whatever it was before, like a, the subset of their dot uh, org. I guess they're still gonna go back to doing that, but like right now they're just focusing on people building community nodes for their community. So like you can use their code to to launch your own like service and stuff. So that's what that Jeeves or Jeeves or whatever it is is. It's a little community node that somebody built. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, we don't have the data for it. Like, I, 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 I tried to load it up and see like <clears throat> how it would run, but it's just it takes a lot of server space. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I did sign up, or I, you know, I did try to load it up, and it took, it took a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like mess with it, I just like sign my wallet and then it like carried over my Imaginarium like ID, I guess. Huh, nice. Yeah, I guess that's stored, I guess it's like stored in like polka dot. Uh, not, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Yeah. When you're yeah, yeah. So they have that. But you know, it's just like your handles. Like you transport, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I wish, I wish uh, um, Bell and them still talked to me because they could really use that video software. Like it's a nice video I know. software, dude. Like it's. It'll be better than what, what we have. Oh yeah, way better than what we have right now in lines. Yeah, but like you know, they don't talk to me anymore, so they. Whatever. <laughs> they can miss out on it. But yeah, it's a nice software. Like the, if they were to implement something like that for the, like uh, the video service, they'd they'd be way better off for videos and streaming. But, mm-hmm. uh, that looks like a... Chris is having trouble coming. Like, yeah, we gotta. We gotta find like uh, I don't know. That's why I've been playing with the workspace and stuff. But like I said, that doesn't but, uh, work on mobile. I was mobile. gonna say that like for most people, I guess like if you're on like a, a phone, you don't even try. It. <laughs> <laughs> and then if you don't have the right browser, it doesn't work. Oh doesn't Jesus work. Christ! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, maybe we can find something, like, we could do, like, StreamYard or something for podcasts if we wanted to, and just, like, so we have something yeah. more stable to kind of talk and chat. Uh, I always have problems with Jitsi, unless we're, oh, yeah. unless we're using the, uh, like, Direct Meet app, like, unless we go to the actual website, like, if we use it in, like, the, the Matrix, there's, a, I always have a connection issue somehow, like, there's oh, always, yeah. yeah. Like if we use um, the the actual website. We should, we should use one of those, like, 
Yeah, we just uh, I just want to find something that's stable that everybody can get on and without bitching because everybody always has issues. In there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think me, you, and Eclipse are like Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. He was able to get in too, so I don't know what it is. I guess maybe browser or specs of your computer or something. I don't know, but yeah. like. But like we gotta find something that everybody can easily join and start talking to us and things. Like, yeah. It's just interesting. Mm -hmm. I I want to say that um, one of those I think two D ones would be cool, and then like put like our own images up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the little two D ones are pretty cool. Like as I said, the one that I'm exploring, of course, doesn't work on mobile, so that's kind of a pain. So. That, brings us back yeah. to square one again because like, <laughs> yeah, yeah a lot of people here are on mobile so like we got to find something that's mobile friendly but yeah i mean we just got to do some exploring like this is fun to build but like if everybody has problems getting in then we're just gonna you know run in circles all the time <laughs> yeah. uh, um, i don't know if you saw but i typed in a the message there's, there's a friend who uh, he's called a Jolly Llama, and he has like this like um, little pro like website or project about like doing smart home kind of thing, and like you know I don't know uh, different stuff like that. He's cool. We should talk to him. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We, we can definitely get him on the show. Um, you know, I don't know. Maybe maybe we can try to get him in here, or if we find something better than you know the time, we can get him there. But. Um, <clears throat> yeah, definitely. We, we should. We, we definitely need to start like setting up shows and stuff. Like, I want to start a bounty for uh, my token, so like, okay. um, if people do a podcast with us, they can get um, MTCG. Oh, yeah, yeah, they can get some tokens and stuff from us. Like, if they do a podcast, so I think that'd be like maybe oh, yeah. The, yeah, maybe that'll get some people interested in like doing shows with us that are from Mint Me or something and. We can talk to okay. some creators there. I don't know. We got a. Uh, uh, how's your shop doing? You, you you doing anything with your shop and bounties yourself? No, I have a couple of bounties. I don't think it, I haven't checked it in a while, but I don't know. I think it's Eclipse. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I haven't kept up with it recently, but I do have ideas about like um, using both super mines. And like this, uh, the lost codex stuff, mm -hmm. and like, and like, kind of with like a bounty. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, oh, I already have, I have super minds for a bounty on my token already, where like if you send, okay, cool. yeah, yeah, if you send me a super minds and then put the link of the super minds in the bounty, then you'll get tokens and uh, stuff like that. So that would be interesting. Yeah, like I think, I think that's really a pretty like basic place to start since everybody here's on the yeah. lines like hey give me some mines tokens i'll give you some of my tokens here's here's how <laughs> yeah. Yeah. but yeah, i got all i got well they said that they're like they're updating the stores or whatever so you can have more items in it so i maxed out all my items in the store today oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so like they because like the last blog i read they said that uh that they're seeing you'll be able to have unlimited items in your store and um, then a hundred bounties or something like that and then uh so i went ahead and maxed out my store for now just to see like so as soon as that kicks on i can just start adding more cards <laughs> but we got a lot of cards out now like we have uh like i went through all all the cards and the values today for um our you know our collection so it's over mm -hmm. over seven hundred thousand mtcg in collector cards so it's pretty okay. nice. yeah 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 man a lot a lot of mtcg just sitting in collector cards which is cool i like it man <laughs> <laughs> yeah people gotta start trading and stuff with them man that'd be fun like because with the shops and stuff like because uh you know if 
uh, you don't have anything to put in your shops and stuff for now, you can always put whatever additions you own. Like I, I saw, um, I think it was Dark Mark that put up one of his additions that he owns for one of our cards, like for his token. So like, I thought that was a pretty good idea. So like, if you own edition number three, you can sell that single edition since you own it, you know, on for your token and do whatever variable you want for the, you know, cost of it. 